What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm T and we are back with another video and a video that I've been avoiding since my intro video and my goals video and I've already filmed it twice but I didn't want to post it so I'm refilming again and I'm going to post it. Drama. The drama. I want to start a finance series on my channel all about how I'm planning and trying to fix my financial situation, not live paycheck by paycheck, you know, finding multiple incomes, all those things that people talk about all the time and that a lot of people aspire to do, but you know, not really doing it. Like I wasn't actually doing it, but now I'm doing it. So I want to start this series on my channel, and so I guess this is video number one, finally. And it's kind of just an intro to where I'm at and a few of my goals and a great resource that I found. So let's get to it. I want to share, I guess, three goals that I have. A long list of goals in my vision board video. If you haven't watched that, go watch that. I made a whole board dedicated to financial goals. I took one of the things down so I can show you but one of my goals is to pay off my credit card within the next six to eight months it's not a lot of credit card debt at all it's one card that i've had since the beginning of college that i was not taught how to use properly that one of those things where it's like just just pay it off it's gonna benefit you in the long run type of thing my second goal is to start using and managing online savings account only. I got rid of my savings account with my bank because it was not worth it. And you know what I'm talking about. Because you can easily transfer money from your savings account to your checkings account like that. And you don't know. We don't want that. I don't want that negativity in my life. It's savings for a reason. I've been researching great online check um online savings accounts planning out different accounts that i want to have like one for travel emergency oh my god emergency a uh, backup money like i have a dog and he's been sick like two three times now and each time i've gone it's been a couple hundred dollars out of nowhere and that may not sound like a lot to some people but to me that's some that's some moolah and so just really focusing on my savings what my priorities are what matters to me like i have not been eating out a lot but i do like to travel so it's like stop eating out but save and using that money saving that money going towards travel you know what i mean and my third goal is to consolidate my student loan debt i recently graduated in june after five years and I ended up with, I don't think anyone's ready for this one. If you can relate to this, honestly, hit me up. Let's talk. Let's debrief. Let's, let's hold each other. <laughs> I ended up with over $150,000 in debt. Why? Why? Honestly, why? Was it worth it? No. Not, not in my opinion, that's just me being honest. And it's trash. There's many reasons to why I ended up in this debt. And my biggest regret for ending up in this debt is trusting the word of other people instead of taking my young self and my young mind and doing the research myself back then. I'm sure people can relate to that. You know, you have people who open credit cards in your name. You have... I've heard that story a lot from a lot of people. You have people who say they're going to do this and they don't do it for you and this, this, and that. And they say, no, this is the right way and it's the wrong way. It was a lot. I used to literally cry about it every other day. I got my loan paperwork in the mail. I cried. But I can now say that I've accepted it. I've accepted that it's happened, it's there, it's not going anywhere, and so I make it go somewhere. So, I am figuring that out. I will do another video about how I consolidate them, how I'm dealing with that, the stress of it, how I'm managing it, scholarships, all that good stuff. So, those are three of my goals right now. I have a whole list of them on my vision board, and 
we gon' we gonna make it do what it do. And lastly, I wanted to share a resource that I came across actually listening to my podcast, the Friend Zone podcast, if you listen to it. I like you already. This lady has been on multiple podcasts. She's been a lot of places. She's well known to me at least. Her name is Budget Nista. I'll put her info right here and in the link. So I started off by doing her Live Richer Challenge right here. I have notes from it in my my booklet. If you don't have a notebook, if you don't write things down, write things down, y'all. I was taking notes. I got an email after signing up for the challenge about a webinar that she did. And in the webinar, she was dropping gems. And she has an online academy. And in the webinar, she gave a discount to the folks. She was like, y'all, I'm going to cut the price for all y'all. So she cut the price for the academy. It's full of so much knowledge. She has so many experts. People answering questions. She has a Facebook group where people, you know, ask things and share their share their journey. And it, it's epic. And, you know, she's a black woman. She's a black woman who was in more debt than I'm I'm in. She has a great story and she literally makes me feel like I can do it. I can get myself out of this rut. I can figure it out. And so if you are fresh out of college or you're in college or you're a grad student or whatever the case may be and you find yourself financially struggling, I really suggest looking her up even if you're just following her instagram she has a lot of free resources out there i decided to pay the extra money because i think it's worth it i think it's, it's genuinely what i need that's why i did that but she's a great resource i spent a few nights just watching videos and reading her material and she's great like that's what made me accept what was on the paper it made me accept the numbers it made me realize like this is what it is now it's up to you to fix it and to live your best life basically like it's called the live richer challenge like hello i think if i would give a piece of advice for this first video in the series it would be to find people in your circle who one know what the hell they're talking about that's no shade to anyone who knows me or anything like that at all. But not everyone knows everything. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there who claim this, this, and that and try to teach you things that they've done and it's barely worked for them. And they try to, how'd that work? Like, how, how that, how'd that work? It don't. It don't. So I would say definitely try to find people in your circle who get it, who understand it, who who will teach you the right things. I was at the bank, so I've already started all of this. I was at the bank, I opened up multiple checking accounts, I took away my savings account, like looking up the online savings account, all of this stuff. I was literally on the phone with one of my best friends, my brother at the same time, texting my boss, like, help me, help me, help me, what do I do? Like, because I wanted to do it right find people, find the resources, find those people who get it, and then also share your goals with them. The good thing about the thing with the Budgetista is that, you know, she has this group where you can share your goals and people know it. And for me, you're like, I'm sharing my goals right here. I just gave y'all the, the number of, that big number that is on me right now after graduating college. Like, I'm sharing my goals to be held accountable. I think this is gonna be a cool little series on my channel. I think that it could be relatable to a lot of people, especially people who follow me who also just graduated college. And I would just be honest and open and real about it. It's not easy, money is not easy. So I wanna share what I learned with you know people who watch me or anyone who just wants to watch. Oh, and one last thing, let's, let's get into the juicy, the juicy part of it, the honest truth here. It is the holiday season. It's the season of giving. Giving to a lot of people means monetary things, materialistic things. Tara? T? Me? 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 No, no, no. No. That is not what this season about is about to me. Holiday season can be very stressful financially for a lot of people, for parents, for family members, for friends. 
No, if you watched my last vlog, you saw that I gave gifts to, to my friends. I actually budgeted that in this year. I budgeted any gifts that I'm giving. People break the bank to show they love someone or show that they care. And don't get it twisted. I love gifts. I love it. Like, give me, give me all the love. But don't do that. Just, no. Not it. Like... A card make a card just go get a bunch of holiday cards send out some cards with some thoughtful notes in it that go have an experience like take a group of people your friends go go ice skating go to the movies you know hang out just spend quality time together cook a meal together like if you know that those numbers and your account are saying no to gifts then say no to gifts. What's that? Y'all remember that NBA video? They're like, no gifts. No gifts. No gifts. That. <laughs> that is the motto, y'all. Like, no. Don't go broke for the holiday season. No. But don't let the holiday season stress you out, guys. Think financially. Think about your goals. Write your goals down. When you share those goals with those people, they will understand why they're not getting gifts. I have people in my life who get why they're not getting these luxurious gifts or this, this, and that. Just know. There's a time and place for everything, and when that time comes, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put some drip on you. I'll go get you the, the perfume, the cologne, like, I'll go get you the shoes, but not now. But yeah, those are my goals. That's everything for this first video. I hope you're excited for this series. Now that I filmed this and posting it, I'm excited because I know I'm holding myself accountable now. Like, there ain't no more fooling around. Get it together, set goals, stick to your goals, and make it happen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're on your journey to a better financial life comment down below let me know let me know if you have any more resources that i can use that i can share more knowledge the better if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe subscribe if you want to follow me on this financial journey and you know getting out of one hundred fifty thousand dollars a debt that's a lot of damn debt <sighs> can't believe i shared that with y'all but we already recorded <laughs> so yes Please go ahead and subscribe for me. And I'm just out here trying to look good, feel good, be good, be good. Like for real, for real, be good. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.